Hi, in this sprint we have worked on doing some research on what it will take to implement a golden path template for audio init into Backstage. Um, so the main reason behind this epic um, is basically to allow Backstage users to create, um, to get started with the dev file. So basically to create a, be able to create a starter project, so containing a dev file that they would push to a Git repository and later on they would be able to customize uh, to customize this project um, to meet their, their needs. Um, so as part of this research issue, we have implementing a very rough POC that I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Um, so here I have a local instance of Backstage, um, so I can start the workflow of using the, the template. So the template is declared into my Backstage instance, so it's called Bootstrap Application with the file. And from there, um, if I select Shoes, um, so what is done here, so we have a yeah, in this form, um, so we have implementing, implemented a custom selector um, which allows users to select the stack, the dev file stack, the version and the starter project. Um, so this list is populated dynamically from the, from the dev file registry that is configured for this backstage instance. So for example, I would take, I don't know, um, a Java Quarkus application. Um, default version is this one, and I will pick this community starter project. Next step, say I enable telemetry, I enter information about the this instance, um, this project, sorry. Next step, I can select the location, so I will push it to my local, to my personal Git repository. So, and if I click next, so here I can review the form. And then if I hit create, you can see that I'm calling audio init here. So this is the audio CLI that is being called. So the template is generated. Um, the repository published is published and registered into the backstage catalog. So if I go to the backstage catalog, um, you can see that I have my project here, which is already declared into the backstage catalog. So basic, yeah, so I can do anything that I want with the, from the backstage UI, and we can see the source code that has been generated from, from audio and pushed to, to the repository. So I have, uh, so this is the starter project and, and the dev file in this. Um, so that's it for this demo. Thank you.